trying to see if we can. Her eyes looking good for you. Perfect. Alright. That worked so well. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead and first just move to the front of your chair and let your feet come comfortably below your hips so that your feet can actually touch the ground. Now and then, it's good to exhale. 
leftover air left in the lungs. And inhale again, coming into the nose, up into the brain, down into the chest.
clouds up and pushing clouds away. You can almost feel the clouds moving away and through us. Awesome. Put the bike on and just kind of shake your legs back to center. There you go. I was a swimmer, so I really got used to doing this, you know, shaking motion. Yeah, not a bad idea. Cool. And then just take count. Again, go back to that mountain pose. For me, I'm starting to notice that my legs are a lot looser, but I'm starting to notice I can move up my spine. Maybe my stomach, my back. Just make them more aware, not changing it. Just simply getting away. Great. Now inhale the arms up again. And exhale, just let them come out to your side. Now go ahead, take the right hand and point it up towards the sky like you're holding a plate. Awesome. Do you know which one's your right? Good girl. Let's get this hand. There you go. So that right, yeah. And then the left hand, the palm goes down. Perfect. Now we're going to inhale into the chest and then exhale and just rotate the arm. So the opposite hand comes up. Yeah. Inhale and let the shoulders draw in and then exhale. Go ahead and push that out. Feel how your body moves in and out. Just going back and forth. Inhaling, extending. Inhaling, drawing in, exhaling, extending. And then just moving back and forth. See if you can find some fluidity. Absolutely. Now, if our arms feel any tension or any movement, it's great to let that move through. Like, see where your arms are today. And this will start to open up the chest, and open up the heart and the arms, and then come back to neutral. Inhaling arms all the way up to touch, and then exhale. Just notice any sensations that you might have in your chest or shoulders or arms. Inhale into the chest and then this time again. Just let the arms come down. Awesome. Now the pillows are set up at the front of your front blanket. Excuse me, at the top of your mat so that you can just have a seat on the pillow. It'll keep your hips up slightly from your knees. with you guys and just sit in a comfortable position some people it's actually more comfortable um, to maybe turn one leg out or even sit on both knees it just depends on what's more comfortable for you yeah you want to explore what's comfy for you perfect and then again we're going to close our eyes and just let your hands rest comfortably at your knees your hips Inhale in through the nose and bring your awareness back into your diaphragm. Now that's that muscle just below the lungs. <coughs> yeah, it makes us cough. Sometimes. So maybe this time focus on the exhalation. Squeezing out the exhalation for higher inspiration. I'm just noticing any sensations in your body as you begin to free yourself in more awareness of the breath. Just squeeze your tummy and see if the shoulders start to come up towards your ears and roll them back. So every inhalation, the shoulders are coming up towards the ears and the exhalation, they're rolling down the back. Inhaling up. Shoulder, shake out again. A little shimmy, shimmy. Now lift the arms again up out 
to the sides of the palms are facing up. Try not to beat up your partner. <laughs> yeah, we can adjust the seating so that some are more in front and some are more behind. And some are ahead. Hey, we all like to reach out and touch someone. <laughs> so let that length expand. And imagine that you can push one side of the room and then the other. And see how your hips actually start to rotate. Staying still. And almost the rotation comes from the rib cage and the arm. Yeah. Good. This starts to get that QL, the base of the spine massage. See if you notice any difference in their shoulders. Yeah, that swimmer in me wants to shake it out. Not the typical yoga staticness. Perfect. And now we're going to come onto our backs. So go ahead, lay down on your back. Move the pillow out from underneath you. Now, if you need any padding um, below your head, you can use the towel by rolling it up. Or if you need it below your spine um, or your uh, sacrum. Let me help you. There you go. And then if you need anything underneath your knees, lift your legs up. You can always have something underneath your knees as well. So just kind of lay here for a moment. Start to gather your breath. Perfect. Just feel that the body can comfortably lay here for a moment. Mm -hmm. Just being aware of any sensations that are going on in the body and your own rhythm, your own flow. And as you feel your breath start to settle a little deeper into your chest, noticing your pelvis, your knees even soften at the back, and your heels rooting in your mat. Just let anything drain or exchange with the earth. You're a magnetic battery, and so is the earth. Inhaling into your nose, starting to bring the awareness of your fingertips and your knees back in. Start to feel for the pillow below your knees, bending into them and remove the pillow so that your feet are firmly on the ground just below your pelvis. Perfect. Yeah, take that pillow out. And your knees in. There you go. Now you want to bring them in slightly closer to your pelvis and you can, not, not so close that it's uncomfortable, but this is actually a resting position for the psoas muscle. It's the deepest muscle in the body. Now this is what we're mostly working with as we go through our self-induced tremors. So you'll start to notice even some tremoring from muscles that are involuntary that you are unable to control as you start to 
just simply relax. Now you can go ahead and bring the feet so that they come all the way together like a butterfly pose and letting the knees just come open to the sides. If you need a pillow on either side or anything to keep the feet comfortable, you can put the soles of the feet together. And with the idea, you want to put the soles of your feet together like a butterfly. There you go. You want to put pillows underneath. Perfect. So first we're going to take this posture and then draw the heels even closer to your booty. Perfect. And lift your bottom about an inch or two or more if you can. And then just notice that it's going to shake and move. Yeah. And let your body sway, roll, shimmy, sugar. Whatever your body does, it has its own flow and just start to let that happen for you. We're gonna take a few breaths in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. So the exhalation is quite deep. And we'll hold this for a couple more breaths. If you notice your body becoming tired, please feel free to lower the pelvis down. But really know that you can take it to your edge, monitoring how that changes, evolves. Inhale in through the nose again, and this time exhale, just let the bottom come down to the ground. And let the legs fall open, extend the toes away from your pelvis just a little bit farther, just pressing, keeping your feet pressed together so that your legs can open just a little bit more towards the top of your mat. shimmy already going on. Fantastic. So this shake and shimmy that you're starting to feel is our self-induced tremor mechanism beginning to play. This tremor mechanism is as old as time and this is what Dr. David Berselli has found to help us resolve all tension and trauma. So we just kind of let it be there. And then bring your knees up just one inch. Yeah. And just let it hang out. Awesome. Now you can move your hips and your knees and try to play the line and see if you can feel where you can feel how you start to hop or tremor. And just experiment with your own tremor mechanism. Everybody's doing just experiment. If for any reason you feel that you want to stop or take a pause, you can go back to the resting position or you can extend your legs all the way straight. And if you bring your toes to your nose, it'll stop the tremor mechanism altogether. Yet experiment with it as much as you feel to. Because every time it stops, it just goes back to the same pattern that it was in. <laughs> so you can really think, is this me or is this my body just doing it? And be able to play with that. Awesome. Inhale in through the nose and exhale. Maybe squeeze the legs another inch together closer. And Zia, if you're comfortable and you feel good, you can always roll and lay on your side, like in a little baby position, fetal position. And just noticing your breath and any sensations, and maybe where it's not moving. And just the imagination of, hey, it might not be moving here. Can I let's look, just imagine that it does move here? And letting the sensations move.
So to make everybody comfortable, you know, just let your body keep moving. Maybe inhale through the nose and exhale, squeeze the legs a little closer together. the muscles are able to release and the strength and resilience of your voluntary muscles is restored. Mm -hmm. So this will take all those compromised muscles that have been working so long that didn't need to and transfer that energy to the muscles that can work with that energy appropriately and in the right way. And always pleasantly surprised at the outcomes. Inhaling in one more time. And exhaling, seeing how close those knees can get together while the feet and the soles of the feet are still together. shaking will continue. What's funny is even if you change the position, your body will always the body will always go back to where it was. So just letting the feet now be about hips width apart on the ground. They don't have to be put together anymore. Yeah. And this way you can go back to that resting position. And then I'm just going to get, Walter, your body in the picture because you're doing, I don't know if I can get it, but your muscles are working beautifully. The human mechanism is amazing. How you doing in there, Walter? Doing well. That's me. Wonderful. Barbara, how you doing down there? Everybody's good. its own natural ability um, to tremor and to get its tremor mechanism back. Many times in society we shut that part of ourselves down um, so we don't just let it naturally happen. This just slowly starts to restore it so that we can feel like we have more control over the right muscles in our body. And less control of the ones that are involuntary. They happen on their own. They know what to do. Hmm. And every now and then, checking in with the neocortex of your brain, or the part that has conversation and outward expression. That's even the part that says, Alisa, your voice is annoying. Keep the feet in 
just like keeping the feet in and then yeah, just letting the hips hang out. And notice you can also breathe into your arms and move your arms around too. So that that imagination of that flow of energy can move through you. Some people are what I call gross shakers. <laughs> like you can really see them. But some of them are just real fine. And they turn around the inside. Mine go all the way up into my brain. Sometimes I'm in my brain. You do know you can extend your feet all the way out or rest in any resting position that's comfortable for your body at any time. You don't have to process all of your body's beautiful mechanisms in one moment. We have all of time to do it. You know, a self-induced tremor mechanism. So the same way that in the beginning when we held our hands together and our shoulders would kind of do that thing, you can bring those tremors up into the higher portions of your body. So slightly inducing and then releasing. One testimony that I got from a woman who tried this, she said she was in her late 40s and she said when she was done, she felt like she had gone through 25 years of psychotherapy without ever having to say a word. <laughs> so just let your body integrate as it needs to. Sometimes that comes naturally. Um, finds like a pause in between because just like in yoga a lot of the work is um, in the resting always grand yeah. and then just letting those knees maybe come out a little bit farther wherever you need to be just knowing you can always yep go back in now that rocking too Walter like when you had your hips lifted you could always go back into two just to feel the gentle sway and rock of the hips Barbara, you're doing wonderful. The human body is amazing. It just does whatever it wants. And it's vicarious, which means some portions will move, mm -hmm. and it's just different. We just want you to have the chance to just be with it. And kids, they just naturally let this stuff move. now and then I make like an inhale and exhale through my lips just because every time I soften my lips and my jaw, my pelvic floor actually also softens too. As above, so below. Even as we hear sounds in the background, just let all of those sounds draw you deeper into your own experience. All the while knowing that your body is going through an amazing workout of its own. Not 
letting any of the thoughts or images affect anymore. And then release the sweetness. Staying safe and breathing in and out the nose to keep the muscles strong yet supplely relaxed. And all the while melting. And if you feel your body, you know, worked out a lot or you can always rest and it'll come right back. that anything gets stuck or you want to explore anything or if anything doesn't feel so good you could always have hand motion like high five I'm good you don't need to come near me or you know thumbs down I need some help or thumbs up this is fantastic and it just gives us a <laughs> a little way to communicate and for me to see where you're at What we've discovered, we being the TRE and David Roselli, trauma expert, is that a lot of research was done, you know, for infancy and bonding, but it didn't really go beyond that for adults. And what we find is that when we tremor together, we naturally build bonding chemicals. <laughs> the families bond again. And our systems bond again, not just to ourselves, but the people around us. Yeah. Yep, and we can keep playing with that. I'm just monitoring the breath and I feel you.
awesome. Yeah, and really be creative. Let your hips move. What are you noticing, Izzy? You want to sit up and do it? Yeah, try sitting up and do it. So hug your knees. There you go. Yeah. And then you can put your head down. Is that comfy? I like it like that. How does that work, baby? Better? Yeah. boy. Yeah, and every now and then you'll feel that fascia stretch because it's like jiggle, 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 I've gotten loose and then the muscles just want to expand out. In the same way that we stretched and breathed into every one of those fingertips and toe tips. It's like we're at that thin layer that covers the chicken breast when we're cooking. All that tissue is so stretchy and long but so tough. Open it up, coax it to stretch. Slowly start to extend your legs all the way out. You can just walk them out one foot at a time. Now just lay here in Shavasana. Now we will be laying here for about five minutes. It can seem like forever. So just notice any thoughts or any visions or anything that comes into the mind and just imagine you're at the bottom of the ocean watching bubbles go up towards the sunlight. And every thought is like a single bubble.
holding that in the breath, come back into the nose. And you can feel the warmth in your chest from every breath. And then start to roll your body to one side or the other. And then draw yourself into a fetal position. Just laying and rooting into the earth. Now, in this fetal position, see if you could imagine that your belly button squishes all the way to your spine so that the, your back is nice and round. Just like when you're in a groaning inside of a tummy. Your back and your spine is nice and curvaceous. Again, just drawing your awareness into your own breath. Maybe the small of your back and its roundness. The calmness and the nervousness. Take a moment to open the eyes. Flutter open and close them again. Starting to bring the sensations of awareness of the room that's in this ever so slightly. Again, opening the eyes, fluttering them open, and lifting your breath. 
going to feel your whole body from the inside out. And then roll yourself onto your back like a little bug. Let your knees still be under your chest. And let maybe let your hands come to the insides of your feet, outside your shins. And just rock that lower spine back to floor, left to right. Little swirl. do the movement around the room and just start to notice colors, sounds. Maybe look out over the ocean. Take a deep breath in. If you feel to, you can exhale with a unifying arm. opportunity. And may all your colors be brighter and more intact. That was probably shorter than it should have been. Get me on the review. Oh, you are, we are going to want a little bit of a feedback. So I'm going to take a second or two to just kind of check in with the, my people, but I'm just gonna put this off to the side. Okay. Easy, how was that for you? Good. What was your favorite part? I don't know. Was it hard to stay connected to what we were doing? I like the way that you did kind of walk around and then found your place again. That was awesome. Good job. Was there anything you'd like to tell me to make it better? No. Thank you. Walter. Thank you, sweetie, for the shaking for myself. If I had to comment, I breathe deeper than you do. So I felt a little bit rushed at times because I was still breathing and so I wasn't, I just did my own thing eventually. I was like, well, I'm, I'm just gonna do my own thing. But yeah, take a little more time in the breathing. 
We are finishing a half an hour short. Oh, really? Okay. Because I, I, I did feel I did, nervous, I and I did feel... feel the breathing part, because I guess I breathe maybe the same way. Um, mm -hmm. I was amazed at the shaking. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I knew you mentioned the shakingness, but I didn't think that it was going to feel that. Do you shake like me? I, I have my eyes closed, but like I shake pretty largely. Like no, I think I shake more through my thighs than my knees. More through the hip area because I think that's the area that is my weakest point. In so I tried this a few times, and I can't, I can't get the shaking to go up into like I, I did it today a little bit. Yeah, you did. I did it today. You did it today. Normally I can't get it no, up I, into I the chest. No, I didn't feel the shaking in the chest, but. More so just through <coughs> the hip and the thigh. Yeah. Is that the hip and thigh that you've had issues with beforehand? Well, it's the right it's side. The right yeah. side. But no, so it was the whole, the whole thing, but I felt it, I don't know, even though I felt warm even through there. It was the warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I want to know how you ground when you're six stories in the air. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. All the way down. I felt like when we got more done, was as calm as we were feeling. Mm -hmm. Did you notice like the waves like have see how they look right now? They're not as I don't know. Calmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're calmer. To me that's what I feel. Did we just calm the ocean down? I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, way to go. <laughs> way to go team. <laughs> and what you're actually saying is like what is said when it's done. This work is done. People feel connected. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was touching. I can almost cry <laughs> just for the feedback because I made it through. This is my first one. I know I didn't do this right. Thank God I did it wrong with my family. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, well, I don't know what was being right. It was a great one. It was good. Awesome. It was great. Awesome. It was great. Thanks, Maria.